Welcome back to another Monday Online Drummer.com drum lesson. I'm Nate Brown. In this lesson, I'm going to go over a simple 16th note swung pattern. And this pattern, when orchestrated around the kit, creates a really cool syncopated sound. I'll start just by showing you the pattern, the basic pattern in straight 16th notes. I'll play it first and then I'll explain it. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So you can see that my right and left stick are going back and forth to the high tom. And there's two strokes on the snare in between each high tom. Left, right, right, left, left, right. So you can think of this as uh, two parts. The first part, right, left, right. And then the second part, left, right, left. And then you string it all together with no breaks. That's a cool pattern in itself. But what we're going to do is play those with swung 16th notes. And that means instead of straight, one E and a two E and a, we're going to have uh, a little bounce to it. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So when you put that to the pattern. And again, that's just one E and a two E. sound a little different because of that Tom is uh, playing another layer or another level there. So it can confuse the timing a little bit, but that is just one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one. When you put that in a drum fill, a two and three and four and one E and the two E and the three and the four and the one. Now to bring it out the uh, snare strokes, or if you bring out the snare strokes, it's going to make it more syncopated. I like that sound rather than the emphasizing the tom. We're going to emphasize the snare. And you can do that by hitting rim shots or just hitting harder. If you're getting lost in that fill, you're going to have a total of six tom strokes. You can use that as a reference. And then the last tom stroke, O1, goes into the, the end of the fill. So I'll speed that up a little bit. You can play an eighth note pulse on the bass drum along with that. It's a little less syncopated, but it makes a good sound. Another thing I like to do is to, instead of the high tom, play the hi-hat, and you're going to get a crossover stroke right over the left stick. One, E, N, a two, E, N, a three, E, N, a four, E, N, a And I'll speed that up. Now with the eighths on the bass. And then, of course, you can mess around with reorchestrating it. You don't have to stick with just the high tom or the hi hat. Maybe your right stick plays the low tom and your left stick plays the high tom. So that's kind of cool. It provides this uh, melody layer to it. Now with no bass. And I've been playing this in more of a funk or a funk rock context, but it can be applied to swing or jazz. Here we go. And I'll do it between the uh, ride and hi-hat here. And finally, what you heard me do in the intro, I was playing the left foot eighth notes with the hi-hat foot and two and in the quarters with the bass. And then I was just playing that pattern. By default, it creates some open hi-hat effects. Remember to swing it. 
Now, once you get to ah, uh, you're going to have to start the pattern over, which means you'll have another right on the hi-hat. Ah, uh, one. Starts over. There's where it would normally end. Now we start it over. Oh, one. one. That makes a cool beat in itself, but I'll, I'll put that all together. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and make sure you visit OnlineDrummer.com for more lessons, sheet music articles, all kinds of cool stuff. I will see you next Monday on OnlineDrummer.com. Keep drumming.